imagine you're an immigrant. You've been on this long journey to this new and foreign world. And in the distance back there, you see the Statue of Liberty. Then you look over. Hey everybody, it's Russ Carson, one of the genealogists here at Family Tree Nuts, and I'm standing here at Ellis Island, right behind me here, one of the very first places that so many of our ancestors came when they came to America through those halls right there. And over, over behind me here, of course, is Lady Liberty herself, one of the first things that so many of our ancestors saw when they first came to America. And then behind me over here, of course, is uh, New York City itself. So let's go inside and do a little bit of research and see what we can find about some of our some of our ancestors. Here we are in the registry hall here at Ellis Island where so many of our ancestors came with everything they had, stood in line down here, registered themselves to be here in the United States. Um, they entered where they came from, um, the name of the ship they were on, any infirmaries that they would have. They also, it's also a place where so many of our last names came to play here in America. Maybe they misspelled their last name, maybe the pronunciation was spelled a different way, maybe they just anglicized it. But here's a place where so many of our surnames came to be right here in this hall. Here we are in one of the dormitory rooms, so if one of our ancestors were to be detained for any reason overnight, they might stay in one of these dormitory rooms with about 36 of their best friends. As you can see, the bunks are three high, pretty tight. Uh, anybody that spent some time on a Navy ship like I did in the Marines, many of us had four high like that uh, jam-packed people in there. So not very uh, good personal space inside there, but that's just another thing that some of our ancestors went through. All right, here I am in the research room here where you go across the hall, pay a few bucks, and you're able to uh, get a research station for 30 minutes. And you can come over here and get your own private computer to do some research in, in there. Uh, it, uh, it's a real quiet room, lots of genealogists. There's just family people in here doing some work, so it's pretty neat. You can come inside here, and uh, I'll show you a little bit of what you can do with the research station. So we can do a passenger search here by click on passenger search. And I'm gonna put in somebody that I'm doing some research for right now. Put in a John Fisher. Click on search. Now we know he came in 1922, so we wanna do a little bit more re refining here. So I'm put, he, we know he's male. Don't know if he's single divorced. I think he was married here though, but uh, age at arrival. But filter the arrival dates. So we want to bring this put this guy up here to 1922. Let's, let's make it 1923 to 1921. We know that he came in 1922 through some other research here. In so we look for our right John Fisher here, looking in 1922. There's lots of John Fishers, as you can see. Here we are, he came actually in 1921. I was mistaken when I said that a minute ago. We have a John F. Fisher, and we know he came on the ship name here, the Cameronia, and he came from Musselburg, Scotland, which is just outside Edinburgh. So let's see what we can get for us here. If you click on his name here, so you see we got a picture of the ship, Cameronia. Here's the picture of the manifest of everybody that was on the ship. You know that he's on page two. So we scroll down here. Actually, is he on page two? Here he is, John F. Fisher. It says he's a, it says he's a coal miner. You can see that right there, trying to film this and scroll. Speaks English from Britain. He's Scotch from Scotland and Musselburg. Is his wife, Miss Nellie Fisher. We know her name was actually Helen. And there's the address that they lived there in Scotland. And he's going to Steubenville, Ohio. That's where he's headed to. You can see all that right there in the middle. We can save this image. And uh, we can also click on a frame here and get a nice certificate to print out with all their information. We're going to actually get this for the customer. We add it to the cart. And then what's even neater is that you can click on the ship information here where you can see a picture of the ship and some brief information about the ship. And you can order that as well. So pretty neat research that you can do right here at the uh, Ellis Island.
All right, behind me is the hospital where people that had certain affirmities were not allowed to come into the country. They had to be quarantined for a little while. A uh, whole nother tour to go over there. And over here we've got, uh, they're, they're waiting on me on the ferry. So we're out of here from Ellis Island and we'll see you next time. States. Hope you enjoyed your time with us. And then don't forget, family tree nuts. Let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree. <laughs>